Ethical hacking is like having a good guy test your computer or network to find and fix any weak points before bad guy can use them. It's a bit like inviting a friendly detective to check if your digital doors and windows are secure. So instead of causing harm, these ethical hackers help strengthen your online defense, making sure your information stays safe from cyber threats. This way, businesses can stay ahead of potential problems and keep their digital spaces secure and trustworthy. Having an ethical hacker ensures that your computer is safe and secure. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Without any further delay, let's outline the agenda for today's session. First, let's understand what ethical hacking is and why it's important. Then, we will look at the types of ethical hackers. Next, we will discuss the roles responsibilities and key concepts of ethical hacking. After that, we will explore the skills and certification needed for ethical hackers and finally let's talk about their salary. So, what exactly is ethical hacking? Ethical hacking is a practice where experts intentionally test computer system to find and fix security vulnerabilities. The objective is to improve cybersecurity and stop unwanted access, data breaches, and other cyber threats as compared to malicious hacking. Ethical hacking is a proactive strategy used by organizations to protect their digital assets. Maintaining a safe and powerful digital environment, safeguarding important data, and staying one step ahead of hackers all depend on ethical hacking. Now let's explore several reasons why ethical hacking is important. And the first reason is it prevents attacks. It identifies and fixes security weaknesses before a hacker can take advantage of them. Next, strengthens security. Improving overall cybersecurity helps organizations stay ahead of constantly changing cyber threats. The next reason is, ensures compliance with industry standards and regularizations related to cybersecurity. And the next reason is, protects information. It protects private information while gaining and maintaining the trust of stakeholders and clients. Then, manage risk proactively. It facilitates the early identification and reductions of possible cyber threats and encourages a proactive strategy for cybersecurity. Let us now discuss on the different types of ethical hackers. Basically, there are three types of hackers and they are white hat hacker, black hat hacker and gray hat hacker. So let's explore a bit deeper into these different types of ethical hackers. So the white hat hackers also known as ethical hacker are cybersecurity experts who conduct authorized assessments of systems, networks and applications. Their primary goal is to identify vulnerabilities and improve security defenses. White hat hackers use their expertise to conduct penetration tests, vulnerability assessments, and security audits. They collaborate closely with organizations to identify and address vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. Example, a white hat hacker hired by a financial institution conduct routine security assessments on online banking systems. They identify potential vulnerabilities such as flaws in the website code or configurations and work with the bank's IT team to implement security measures to safeguard customer financial information. The white hat hackers play an important role in the proactive defense against cyber threats, assisting organizations in maintaining the integrity and security of their digital assets. The next type of hacker is black hat hacker. Black hat hackers are people who engage in malicious behavior using vulnerabilities for personal gain, financial gain, or malicious intent. They operate outside the bounds of law and ethical standards. Black hat hackers may steal sensitive data, gain unauthorized access to systems, and launch cyber attacks for financial gain or use ransomware attacks to extort money from victims. For example, an advanced hacker penetrates a company's network, steals customer data, and sells it on the dark web for a profit. In addition, a black hat hacker could launch a distributed denial of service attack on a competitor's website, disrupting their online services. It is important to note that black hat hacking is both illegal and unethical. 
black hat hackers activities represent serious threats to individuals organizations and society as a whole ethical hacking as practiced by white hat hackers seeks to reduce these threats by identifying and addressing vulnerabilities before they are used by malicious actors the next type of hacker is gray hat hackers gray hat hacker falls somewhere between ethical and potentially questionable behavior they may discover and disclose vulnerabilities without explicit permission raising ethical concern about responsible disclosure gray hat hackers may discover security faults in system network or applications without authorization while their intentions are good their actions may not always be consistent with legal and ethical standards gray hat hackers discover a software weakness in a widely used application instead of immediately informing the company they publicly disclose the vulnerabilities in order to draw attention to the problem and potentially put pressure on the company to address it it's important to note that gray hat hacker can be uncertain and isn't always viewed as a responsible or ethical approach to cyber security responsible disclosure and collaboration with organizations are fundamental principles of ethical hacking practices next let's have a look at the roles and responsibilities of an ethical hacker first permission and authorization prior to conducting any security testing obtain proper authorization ethical hackers must obtain explicit permission from the organizations or individual in charge of the system they are testing next vulnerability assessment determine and evaluate potential security risk in computer systems networks and applications this involves looking into the system's architecture configurations and code to identify faults next penetration testing Penetration testing involves simulating real-world cyber attacks in order to find vulnerabilities and evaluate the effectiveness of existing security measures. This could include attempting to gain unauthorized access, increasing privileges, or manipulating the systems to find weaknesses. Next, network security testing. It evaluates the security of networks including routers, firewalls, and other network devices to ensure they are properly configured and resistant to potential attacks next application security testing evaluates the security of software applications by reviewing source code analyzing application behavior and identifying vulnerabilities that attacks could exploit next wireless network testing test the security of wireless network to identify weaknesses in encryption authentication and access control next social engineering test use social engineering test to evaluate the human component of security this may include phishing simulations in which ethical hackers attempt to trick employees into disclosing sensitive information moving on let's discuss the key concepts of ethical hacking ethical hacking involves a set of key concepts and principles that guide the practice of security testing within ethical and legal boundaries And here are some of the key concepts of ethical hacking. First, authorization. Before conducting any security testing, ethical hackers must obtain explicit and legal permission from the organizations or individual owning the system. Unauthorized hacking activities are illegal and can have serious consequences. Next, legal and ethical boundaries. Ethical hackers must adhere to the legal and ethical boundaries set by local laws. and professional codes of conduct they should avoid any activities that violate privacy confidentiality or the law next informed consent obtain informed consent from stakeholders before conducting any security assessments this ensures that the organizations or individual being tested is aware of and agrees to the testing activities next purpose of testing The primary goal of ethical hacking is to identify and address security vulnerabilities, weaknesses and potential risk within a system. The goal is to improve security, not cause harm or damage. Then we have confidentiality. Ethical hackers must keep all information obtained during security testing strictly confidential. This include information about vulnerabilities, sensitive data and anything else relevant to the organization's security posture. Next what skills and certifications should an ethical hacker obtain so the skills are networking knowledge understanding of networking protocols architectures and services this include tcp ip routing switching firewalls and vpns 
नेक्स्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रोफिशेंसी Familiarity with various operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and Unix, is important. Knowledge of system administration task is crucial. Next, programming and scripting. Proficiency in programming languages such as Python, C, C++, or scripting languages like Bash. This is important for writing custom scripts and understanding code vulnerabilities. Then, web application knowledge. Understanding of web technologies, web application architecture, and common vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and cross-site request forgery. Next, wireless technologies. Knowledge of wireless networking protocols and security measures, having familiarity with tools used for wireless network penetration testing is very important. Then we have cryptography. Understanding of cryptographic concepts and protocols. as well as the ability to identify and assess cryptographic vulnerabilities then security tools proficiency experience with a variety of security tools including vulnerability scanners network sniffers and penetration testing frameworks now that we have covered the skills required to be an ethical hacker let's look at the top cyber security certifications that can help you become a certified ethical hacker about the certified ethical hacker Start your career with the most popular ethical hacking certification in the world that is the certified ethical hacker CEH This top notch program offers structured training for aspiring cyber professionals globally acknowledged and enabling work flexibility Master the five phases of ethical hacking through a comprehensive curriculum including hands on experience in cyber queue labs also you can choose between live online or hybrid learning options for a flexible educational journey Check out the CEH V12 certified ethical hacking course by Edurica in collaboration with EC Council and offers the chance to obtain the CEH V12 certification. This training which focuses on fundamental cyber security skills, certifies knowledge of network security, cryptography and other areas, transforming participants into certified ethical hackers prepared to tackle cyber security issues. The next certification is certified information system security professional the cissp certification is a globally recognized credential for cyber security professionals it validates expertise across various security domains and required passing an exam showcasing a high level of competencies in cyber security check out the highly regarded cissp certification training course in information security as well to achieve leadership roles upskill and obtain this certification edureka offers the best training available The CISSP certification points to a high level of managerial and technical proficiency for effectively overseeing security frameworks in businesses. The next certification is CompTIA Security Plus. The CompTIA Security Plus certification is recognized worldwide and confirms fundamental skills needed for essential security tasks and for starting a career in IT security. CompTIA Security Plus is your gateway to a cyber security career. equipping you with the foundational skills assessing practical abilities for real world challenges and keeping you updated on the latest trends in cyber security technology and techniques edureka's collaboration with comptia security plus provides an opportunity to obtain the globally recognized comptia security plus certification training course the training which focuses on critical cyber security skills for administrators validates knowledge of risk management threat handling and intrusion detection this certification enables you to manage security incidents effectively now let's talk about how much an ethical hacker typically earns in india the average base pay varies from 24000 rupees to 1 lakh per month meanwhile the average annual salary for an ethical hacker in the united states is 134000 dollar salaries for highly skilled professionals with advanced certifications and years of experience may be higher than this range so with this we have come to the end of this session i hope you found it informative thank you for watching and keep learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning